This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus A55A laptop computer with a cracked screen. And I'm going to show you how to replace the cracked screen on an Asus A55A laptop computer. Before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to make sure it's safe to work on and that means removing all sources of power which means removing the battery. So we flip the laptop over and there's two levers. We slide both of them outward on each side of the battery and while holding the light lever we slide the battery out like so and when the battery is removed the laptop is safe to work on. Now if the label on the palm rest is missing we can find the model number of this laptop on the back also. It's on the Asus label. And we move, zoom in for a focus and it says A55A-TH51. So it's the Asus A55A. And there's also another label under the battery. It says A55A there also. Okay, we flip the laptop back over again and take a look. For this laptop and for almost all other laptops, in order to get to the screen assembly, we need to remove the screen bezel. That's the plastic frame around the screen. And in order to remove the screen bezel, we need to remove two screws at the bottom that are hiding behind some rubber screw covers. Before we start on that, we're going to show you the tools that we're gonna use. Uh, the first tool is a PH1 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and 1 is the size. We also have a PH00 electronic screwdriver and that's for smaller screws. And a 2 millimeter flathead screwdriver and that's mostly for prying things open. We also have a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables that may be stuck or any screws that may be stuck. And an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife and that's mainly to remove the screw covers and also to lift up adhesive tape. So let's get started with that part. First is we're going to remove the screw covers. And we use our X-Acto knife to remove those. And we put them right next to the screw opening so we don't lose them. And we do the same thing on the other side. Like so, and put them right next to the screw opening. Next, we use our PH1 screwdriver to remove the two screws. One and two. And for each set of screws, I like to put them in a separate pile in the order in which we remove them and that helps me keep track of which screws go where once we start putting the laptop back together again. Okay, next step, and probably the most difficult one, is to remove the screen bezel, the plastic screen frame. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard and what you need to do is put your fingertips or fingernails on the screen side and gently lift the screen bezel up and out and just work your way around the screen. And if you get stuck at any part of the bezel, just skip that part and come back to that part later and just take your time on this and work your way around the screen like so. And we keep going and we do the same thing on the bottom also. almost there and the part that we got stuck on on top we come back to that and then just tilt the bezel forward and just lift up and out and put it to the side okay let's take a look at this screen assembly for this type of screen it's mounted on some metal mounting brackets on the sides of the screen with some screws. So we need to have 
access to those screws and right now we see that the access to those screws is blocked so we need to tilt the screen forward from the screen assembly and there's a couple things that we need to do that first we remove the two screws on top that are holding the metal mounting brackets to the back of the screen assembly and once again we start a new pile for those screws like so when we put it to the side and then we try to tilt the screen forward from the screen assembly and we see that it's not moving at all and it's stuck behind some uh, plastic mounts so we have to figure out a way to get to those and what we may need to do is loosen the bottom screws like so and what this may give us is enough access to the side screws on the screen so let's go this way so instead of this screen is a little bit different so instead of removing the tilting the screen assembly forward from the back of the screen in the back we loosen up the two screws on each side for the where the metal mounting bracket meets the hinges on the bottom there's two here let's get a close up so we loosen these two three turns and we loosen these two three turns and what this allows us to do is to tilt or is to move the back of the screen assembly back enough so we have access to the screws so maybe loosen it up a little bit more each laptop is slightly different so we have to do slightly different things for each laptop so we with our fingertips we pull back the back of the screen assembly so we can get to the screws once we do that we use our PH00 screw to get to the top screw this is probably the most difficult one and we remove it and once again start a new pile then we have a middle screw remove that and finally we have the bottom screw and we remove that okay when you're doing this make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit so when you remove the final screws the screen just doesn't fall forward on you and we have a pretty good angle what we're doing here so we tilting back the back of the screen assembly so we have access to the screws on the sides so there's one and two and this one's probably the most tricky one we just tilt it back a little bit so we have access to it and three once we do that the screen is loose from the screen assembly and we gently start tilting the screen forward and down like so all right let's take a look at this type of screen it's a 15.6 led screen with one connector and the connector is secured by some adhesive tape and some also the video cable some adhesive that mounts to the back of the screen so the next step we do is use our exacto knife to lift up a corner of the adhesive tape and gently peel back we also do the same thing with the back of the video cable and gently peel back also and then we just pull the connector out just let's get a close-up just pull it out like so okay before we go any further I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector what you do is you slide the connector back in 
and you'll feel but not hear two clicks. And let's get a close up of the connector. Pause the video right here and make sure your connection looks like this. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay. All right, so we pull the connector out one more time and we take a look at this screen. It's a 15.6 inch LED screen and as of mid 2013, it's the most common screen that goes into laptops. So let's take a part number that you need to look for. The part number is N156BGE-L21. N156BGE-L21. Now when you get your new screen in, the part number that the screen will have will probably be different than this one, but it will be compatible. Okay, you can also order this screen from us from Screen Surgeons. And what you get with us is this exact same toolkit that I used in the video. It comes for free with the screen, so you can use it. We also have a two-year warranty in our screen, so if there's something goes wrong with the screen other than accidental damage, uh, we'll replace it. We'll send you another screen at no charge. And we also have free email technical support. So if you have any problems during this procedure, send us email and we'll help you walk through it. Uh, finally, we ship from warehouses both on the West Coast and the East Coast, and even if you order ground shipping, it will arrive there very fast in less than three days. And also we ship to most countries around the world. Just follow the regular checkout procedure. So to order the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com, and then there will be a short form for you to fill out where you give the model number and then that will lead you to buy the right screen online and you just follow the checkout procedure. Okay, once you do receive the screen, reconnect the connectors that I showed you, mount the screen in the screen assembly, and then put uh, three screws back in on each side. And once again, you would need to pull back the back of the screen assembly a little bit to have access to the screws, and then use the PH00 screwdriver to gain access or to put the screws back in and if you have to do it a little bit an ankle that's fine also and the same thing on the other side then you snap the screen bezel back on you put the two screws in on the bottom and before I forget you need to tighten the bottom screws also the hinge mount screws so that your laptop worked properly then snap the screen bezel back on Put the two screws in at the bottom on each side, put the screw covers, and you should be done. Okay, uh, that's it. Uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panritkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. And the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.